Hello, welcome to our training video on the Milwaukee M18 10 ton knockout tool. This M18 knockout tool punches holes up to two inches in diameter and comes with a 7 16 and three quarters draw stud. These draw studs are the attachment point between the punch die set and the driver. The 7 16 draw stud is only used for the half inch holes and the three quarters draw stud is used for all others. These draw studs are made up of two pieces, the stud and ball mount. These two ball mounts are different from one another and can only be used with their intended stud. The difference between these draw studs, other than their diameter, is that the three quarters draw stud that is used for each die in this kit, except for the half inch, has a quick connect feature that speeds up repetitive punching. If you look at the grooves of each stud, you'll see the difference in the design. And the same with the ball pulls. We will show you how these systems work in just a bit. For now, just take notice of the difference between the two. Again, each draw stud should be used with their designated ball pull. Here, you have your punch and die sets. This kit contains a half inch, three quarters inch, one inch, one and a quarter, one half inch, and two inch punch and die set. Each set is comprised of a punch and a die. The die is positioned with its hollow side facing the material or punch. The punch goes inside of the die with the sharp edges facing in or towards the material you will punch. These sharp edges on the punch can and will cut you. So aside from your regular shop PPE, you will need to wear your cut resistant gloves when using this tool or handling the cut material as there can be sharp edges left behind once your punch has been made. And in between the times you are using the tool, never stand the tool upright as it is more likely to fall. Let's review the anatomy of the driver. This driver is powered by an M18 Red Lithium CP 2.0 battery that will allow you to make 120 holes per charge. Located at the bottom of the driver is a battery level indicator. With a push of this button, it will display the battery's remaining power. Above this is an LED light that illuminates when the trigger is pressed. Here's the trigger. This trigger will commence the punching process. Located behind the trigger is the trigger lock. It has two positions, lock and unlock. In the back of the tool is the hydraulic release. This release quickly resets the tool for the next punch. When using the reverse button, there is no need to pull the trigger. The reverse switch will automatically reverse or release the die and punch set while being pushed. At the top of the tool is the quick connect assembly point. This is where the draw stud ball head slides in. And this is the coupler. The coupler allows you to lock in the draw stud once in position. Now that we are familiar with the tool and the safety practices, let's begin our training exercise. First, we will demonstrate by making a half inch hole. Let's install the punch and die. Go ahead and open the tool's carrying case and locate the 7 16 draw stud. This is the thinner of the two. If the draw stud does not have its ball pull attached, locate the correct ball pull for it and attach it. Now, let's grab our punch and die set. We will do the half inch hole first. Remember to always verify the size of the punch and die you are selecting by looking at the number printed on them and have your cut resistant gloves on because the punch inside is sharp and can cut you. Now, place the draw stud through the top of the die, then place the draw stud with the die into the pilot hole and screw the punch onto the draw studs threads while lining up the red crosshairs on the top with your marking until the punch's teeth stop on the material. If you do not see the red crosshairs on the top of the die, your die is most likely upside down. Once the punch and die assembly has been correctly applied to the material, grab the driver and hook it up to the ball pole making sure to rotate the coupler into position so that the driver and ball pull do not accidentally disconnect. With the driver connected to the punch and die assembly and safely locked by the coupler, begin to press and hold the trigger. The driver will begin to make the punch. This punch should take somewhere between five and 10 seconds. Once the punch has been made, you will be able to pull the driver and die away from the material, leaving you with your half inch hold. Great, good job. Now, rotate the coupler and disconnect the draw stud and die from the driver. Unscrew the punch from the draw stud and with your cut resistant gloves still on, put the punch to the side and take the punch material out of the die and dispose of it. And that's it. 
This tool is simple, efficient, and best of all, safe to use. And we are glad that you now are trained to use it. We hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe.